All right, I want to bring you an update on what's happening uh, with CP Rail. We've got one strike averted, another one underway. Let's let commuters know, though, we spoke with Metrolinx and Go Transit and UpService, they say, is not being affected. Business as usual, at least so far. With the rest of what's happening, Mike's going to break this all down for you. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Melanie. That's uh, the reason the commuter lines are not affected is that CP Rail reached a uh, agreement, a tentative deal with the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, the uh, operators of the switching equipment on those rail lines for commuter service. So uh, that was the good news out of this, uh, but CP is still facing strike activity by uh, the conductors and engineers of the trains themselves, so that could be a major dent to the Canadian economy coming up if CP Rail isn't uh, running those big freight trains, taking Canadian goods to international markets. Well, that creates a back backlog of oil and agricultural uh, produce and auto parts and what have you. So uh, we're watching this pretty closely. The Trudeau government says they are not uh, going to legislate uh, back to work uh, or bring in back to work legislation, at least not yet. They're going to be watching this pretty closely, though, because, again, this could be a hit to the Canadian economy, depending on how long that strike lasts. We own a pipeline in as much as the federal government yesterday announced the purchase of the Kinder Morgan Trans Mountain Pipeline for $4.5 billion, trying to alleviate the uh, politics of pipeline building in Western Canada specifically. Uh, the big question is, though, uh, while the federal government bought out Kinder Morgan's uh, existing operations on the Trans Mountain Pipeline, they didn't say exactly how much it's going to cost to actually double the size of that pipeline, which is the plan all along. Will it be $7 billion more, up to $12 billion? That's the big unknown. And then who's going to buy that pipeline again when it's up for sale once it's completed? A lot of uh, big questions still remain in the Kinder Morgan Trans Mountain Pipeline file. Uh, coming up today, we have markets in the spotlight again. Yesterday, a big sell-off on political unrest in Italy, which had a ripple effect through the Eurozone and global exchanges. The TSX is coming in on a six-day losing streak. A big bank stocks down sharply yesterday as bond yields took a tumble. The banks have reported strong earnings, but it has not done anything for their near-term stock prices. Also coming up today, the Bank of Canada sets interest rates. No change expected this time around. Will they raise rates one or two more times this year? Big question mark with a lot of uncertainties about the Canadian economy right now. Currencies reflected that. The Canadian dollar's down to below 77 cents.